this conference was conceived um, as an as a, as a platform to bring together uh, senior leadership, uh, the uh, policy influencer, policy makers, uh, various think tanks of uh, the Indian Ocean region countries. So, you sort of create a common platform for uh, two and a half days or three days of intense discussions. And uh, those discussions are uh, sort of taken as uh, the current thinking in the Indian Ocean region. And they also pave the way for subsequent action, whether it is bilateral action, whether it is multilateral action, whether it is uh, action at uh, Iora. So, this becomes a sort of a, a both a thinking pad as well as a launching pad of ideas, of, uh, of uh, suggested policies, of suggested action, of uh, suggested uh, cooperation between the countries and all leading up to uh, economic prosperity, development, economic prosperity. So, this is how the Indian Ocean Conference was conceived. And uh, f starting from the first conference, which uh, if I am, if I remember correctly, was in Singapore, to the sixth conference, which is being held in Dhaka, uh, it has been a very, very successful uh, effort and uh, it has been a very successful initiative by India to uh, sort of get together the countries in the Indian Ocean region, which is, which is significant in its own way because uh, this kind of, I mean, you know, nearly a third of the world's population lives uh, in the Indian Ocean region. Uh, the demography of this region is very young compared to other parts of the world. Uh, most of the trade, global trade happens through the Indian Ocean. So, therefore, the whole uh, purpose of bringing together countries, getting them on a single platform to think collectively, to speak collectively, and uh, to to sort of formulate policies collectively it, it that that by itself makes it a very very significant conference